what's up? Today I'll be talking about Dracula 3 Legacy. This is the final in the trilogy of the West Craven's version of Dracula. And um, this one was really good. I actually did enjoy this one too. A lot of action, blood and gore. It was just a fun movie. Um, this, the guy who survived from the last movie, the sequel, is teaming up with Jason Scott Lee's character, the bounty hunt, the priest bounty hunter. They go off to Romania, or one of those West East, one of those Western Eastern European countries. You know, I think it was Romania, and um, looking for Dracula, and they come across like rebels. Um, they find out that like the vampires were thin in that country. They even have like like people that like soldiers that's working for Dracula, selling humans to Dracula so he can feed all the vampires and feed them too. Um, you got rebels that's battling the vampires, by the way. And um, this is a lot of action, but you know, even though it takes like one hour towards the movie for Dracula to appear, oh, by the way, look at how it does play Dracula in part three. And part two is was a different guy who played Dracula. Looked like a younger version of Ruckner Howard, but there was an advertisement they said Ruckner Howard was in part two. So that was false advertisement, by the way. But um yeah, but it takes one hour for Dracula to appear though, but still the action makes up for it, you know. And I like the part when they go to the circus area when they fight the circus vampires. It was pretty cool, you know, they fight a lot of vampires they fought though. And then a lot of wise cracks. Well, I don't I understand the Dracula trilogy, even in two thousand, they had vampires being all smart ass and shit, talking all smart, like wise asses, but still was enjoyable. And when they, they encounter like a reporter, they gone with them to, to the quest to hunt for the Dracula, and while the guy who survived, who survived from the second movie, who was find the lady, who survived from the second movie, the redhead lady, to, to help out, you know, to take her with him, they can't finally confront Dracula, you know, while finding other vampires, and um, the while well, just got these characters battling Dracula, um, the boy found the hair lady in the basement, then away she was sucking blood with the other vampires. He helped her out and but in a way at the end of it, like the boy the lady's telling the guy, the 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 boy that liked her to like take the sword and kill her because she wanted to be free. While J. Scott Lee's character pretty much he was fine when he was fine when he killed Dracula, Julia Who's a reporter wanted to be bit by him pretty much, but you see tough from the ending. And um, when the boy left, Dra um, just got these guys sound Dra Dracula's throne, and claimed that pretty much he's the new vampire kid, while Julius had been bit by the vamp bit by him to become pretty much his vampire queen. Um, yeah, nothing much to say. I mean, just let's get Dracula and kill him pretty much. But all in all, this movie was very, very enjoyable, very good. Uh, Dracula Three Legacy. And if you want to get the separate DVDs, which contains deleted scenes in each trilogy and more special features, or if you want to go work with a budget and just get the trilogy instead, you know, which is like eight or seven dollars in this collection, um, I say go for this one. But if you want deleted scenes, go for the separate versions. But anyway, peace, guys, and see.